It is a city that has so much going on, and the person who knows all about that is, of course, the city's mayor, Jerry Wires, and he is joining us for the field trip Friday. Javi and Tess are live at Saguaro Ranch Park. Good morning, guys. Hey, good morning. Yeah, you know what's really neat about this place? This is where it all began in the late 1800s. Before Glendale became a city, there was Saguaro Ranch, and that is where we are this morning for this field trip Friday. Yeah, if uh, history recalls correctly, I think it was the Bartlett brothers who uh, kind of happened upon this place. They decided they wanted to do some fruit farming. There was a canal that ran close by. They said, perfect, we can tap in for some water. Uh, Mayor Jerry Wires, you've taken over years, years later, centuries later, really, <laughs> uh, since then. But you continue to grow at a rapid pace. We're, you know, we're, we're actually the city's grown incredibly fast. One of the really neat things is the fact that that we've all uh, tried as hard as we can to keep that hometown feeling. You know, Swore Ranch Park is is really you come here. It's hard to believe that we have the amount of growth, the amount of uh, uh, different events, you know, the st football stadium and all these things going on. You walk here, it's literally like walking back in time. And, and we take a lot of pride in Sport Ranch Park. Uh, you know, you walk here, you, you, you'll see the peacocks out walking around. So uh, it, it's really a great place. We have a, have a lot of fun out here. A lot of different events. People have weddings out here. It's, it's pretty, pretty incredible. It is beautiful. And it's one of the must places to see if you are coming to visit Glendale. Aside from the things we always hear about, of course, like the University of Phoenix Stadium. We talk about that. We talk about the Old Town area. But what we don't always see is all the stuff that happens behind the scenes that you guys are working to expand in terms of businesses. So much growth here. It, it's been absolutely incredible. Our, our growth is, is phenomenal. You know, five years ago when I, when I first became mayor, we were struggling. The city was uh, going through, you know, a lot of changes. Today, the differences that we have, you know, our Conair uh, just had a major expansion. Mm -hmm. You know, they they literally expanded over a million square feet. They're over 2.2 million square feet wow. today, which is the second largest campus, literally, in the valley, in, uh, in the state. You know, I know when you originally took over, uh, we were coming out of the recession. People slammed you for being fiscally responsible. But as a businessman, <laughs> that's starting to pay off, especially with the economy booming. It, it, it's making an incredible uh, difference. You know, you, you have to get your house in order before you start building. You know, you, you can't build on something that doesn't have a good, stable foundation. Glendale's got great bones. Uh, uh, the former leaders did a great job as far as getting things set up. The economy caught a lot of people off guard and there were some decisions made that we had to come back and try to readjust and fix. You know, uh, we just had the announcement of Ikea mm -hmm. yeah. literally coming in. That, that's, that's huge. It's absolutely huge. So I'm thinking, you know, we have Ikea. Everybody knows they sell meatballs there, right? Yeah, uh, those Swedish they're, meatballs. They're, they're, they're from Switzerland. <laughs> We've also got some Swiss, uh, 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 some hockey players from Switzerland now uh, with the Coyotes, mm -hmm. you know, maybe we're going to have this influx of uh, Swedish people coming to Glendale. You never know. You and never what's neat know. is that that's going to actually bring just 300 jobs alone just from the opening of that and expected in a few years here. But we have to touch upon the Coyotes, as you just mentioned. The situation with that, with losing the Coyotes, what type of hit is that going to be to Glendale, do I, you think? I, unless you know something I don't know, I don't see us losing the Coyotes. Okay. Really? I, uh, I, I know that uh, our city is determined to keep the Coyotes here. We want to make certain that they have opportunities. Uh, they have a new management, a new owner, uh, and, and the fact that uh, you know they're in the process of rebuilding their team. I just had a meeting with, uh, with the Valley mayors in the West Valley. We, once a month we meet. And, and all the mayors committed uh, with me that uh, as the entire western region, we're going to work as hard as we can to help push the coyotes, awesome. uh, help them as much as we can. But, uh, you know, it, it is a working relationship and a partnership. You know, we, we have to make sure that we work on that. You know, with uh, with that Westgate area, with the Coyotes, obviously with uh, with the Cardinals, we're very very proud of. You know, we got Top Golf now mm -hmm. uh, that just announced they're coming. That's going to be 65,000 square feet, and they're buying over 13 acres. Man. I mean, incredible. It, it's tons of fun out mm -hmm. there, Mayor. Thank you very much for taking the time, inviting well, us to your beautiful well, city yes, here. Yes, thank you well, so thanks, much. Thanks. I, I don't want to shake hand. I want to give a hug. <laughs> I'm a hugger anyway. I don't blame you. So I don't I'm blame a hugger you. anyways. All right. Well, maybe if you're not busy, you can hang out with us because we're going to be here all morning long over the next two hours showing you the beautiful Saguaro Ranch property. 
We're hoping a peacock or two comes by and fluffs their feathers. Can you make that happen? I, you know what? I can do a lot of things. <laughs> I don't know if I can pull that one off. Yeah, they might be union, huh? They might be union peacocks. We might be uh, testing but more, his reach all morning this morning. Long here from Saguaro Ranch. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you, Tess and Javi. I'm looking forward to a beautiful morning out in Glendale, and even a preview, Gina, if you can believe it already, of Glendale.